Not gonna lie, not where I saw this two-parter going. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers then and discuss them. Today we're exploring the 32nd episode of the show Power Rangers Turbo, as well as the 237th episode overall, titled The Gardener of Evil. We begin this episode at the Youth Center, seeing Bulk and Skull once again using the magical wishing coin in a pinball machine, and they immediately mess things up, breaking the machine. Stone sees this, and there's a lot of smoke pouring out of the machine. Stone gets the coin out, saying how it ruined everything. He's giving them an address to go to work on a plant nursery. Once again, Porto introduces the wild weeder on the space base, and he has a country accent, so Devotox is mad. She makes fun of him for his accent, and she says that he won't succeed. Jesus. Then she says to go get the damn coin before the rangers do. Him and the blue centurion teleport out. The blue centurion appears on Earth and he stops a crowd of people calling out Wild Weeder who tosses seeds on them which turn into vines and afterward all the people have been turned into people who are wearing bee outfits yelling coin, coin, coin. EJ and Cassie are walking around with their turbo navigator and they found nothing. Carlos says they can't get to it either so they need to get the coin so they can wish for blue centurion to be back to normal. Then they hear people screaming and they see the blue centurion and Wild Weeder are changing people into diva drones. They call for help. Shift in the turbo. The rangers run out from behind a building they see the seeds, but Wild Weeder calls out the Peronatrons, but the Blue Centurion insists on going first. It's actually a really good battle outside while the Diva drones are hopping in the background searching for the coin. TJ even tries to get the seeds from the Wild Weeder, but Blue Centurion gets free, knocking TJ away. The Blue Centurion then fires on them, knocking them down before they all leave, except that the Diva drones are still going around and the rangers figure out that they probably must be hypnotized. The rangers then just rehash how much this sucks, moving out. At the plant nursery, Bulk and Skull have met Martha, who explains they need to use cow manure and seeds to plant, and she even gives them a lot of synonyms for cow manure, and then she insists on smelling it. She gives them a shovel, telling them to get to work. She then walks out to find the wild weeder getting turned into a diva drone. The drones are coming to Elgar with coins, and there's no coin there yet, and Blue Centurion is telling everyone to hurry up and keep searching for the coin. Carlos and Justin are walking around getting to the youth center. They see that the pinball machine is getting carried out and Stone explains how they tried to put this crazy coin into it. And then explains what the coin looks like to Carlos and Justin who ask where they are. Hulk and Skull are thirsty from work and they decide to use the coin in a vending machine but before they can, the diva drones surround them trying to get the coin. Diotox sees that they have her coin so she calls for Elgar. Wait, where's his hair? She then calls out for the Wild Weeder. The Wild Weeder and the Blue Centurion show up demanding the coin but Hulk and Skull do a fighting pose to try to protect the coin. This is nice to see. The rangers show up, looking through the bushes to see what's happening. Shift in the turbo. The five rangers run in, distracting them enough for Bulk and Skull to run away. Blue Centurion then calls out for Anatrons, which turns into the rangers versus them in a cool fight where they're actually using their environment extremely well. I have to say, the second half of Turbo has seen a vast improvement in the stunt teamwork. They're definitely trying new things here. Well, the leader says he's going to leave if Blue Centurion's just going to keep them busy. Then Blue Centurion starts fighting the rangers himself, but then he just teleports away. TJ says they have to find Bulk and Skull, so they get into the Lightning Cruiser and Storm Blaster, peeling out. The rangers then see the Wild Weeder, who is watering some plants. He then uses his seeds, saucing them back at them, and they duck. However, there are now vines all over the cars and the giant plastic bees. Also, Ashley says buzz off, but 100% sounds like fuck off. The bees then fire at the rangers, hitting them onto the ground. The girls take out their turbo navigator laser pistol combo before they get hit back by the wild weeder again. The blue centurion then shows up and the wild weeder takes this moment to sit down and chill. The blue centurion then just calls out Robo Racer, converting it into battle mode, and it also is blacked out like the blue centurion. Hulk and Skull are running away from the diva drones and they hide. They realize they should just make a wish, but just as they're about to, the diva drones find them chasing them. The rangers get fired up by the robo racer, so they call it the rescue zords, initiating high stance mode. Now it's six humanoid robots fighting against each other in the city, and honestly it's kinda cool. They huddle around robo racer before they just keep punching him over and over again, which starts to feel a little cruel. Somehow this is making the blue centurion dizzy. Also Bulk and Skull are still running and they find the blue centurion. They start flagging down the rangers and Justin sees them, jumping down. He gets the coin back and Bulk and Skull ask if it's true that they could have asked for anything that they wanted. And Justin says, yep, that's true. <laughs> Justin then wishes for the blue centurion to be good again, even though he wants it to be a wish for his dad. That's a nice moment. Then the Zords put their fists together. Divatox says, forget this, firing the torpedoes, making the wild weeder giant along with a robot bee. They start fighting the rangers, and it's stupid to see some of the Zords fighting a bee. The wild weeder gets Robo Racer tied up with a vine, and the bee hits the rescue Zord, so they decide to form the rescue Megazord. Now the bee is firing at Robo Racer while he's still tied up, but the rescue Megazord comes over with guns, getting Robo Racer free. He sends in the bee again, and the blue centurion says he'll take the bee, using his arm blade to just blow it up immediately. Well, okay. Feel like he could have done that from the start. The rescue Megazord uses artillery power, firing at the wild weeder, blowing him up into nothingness. Feel like that dude didn't really do much. 
We then see the Diva drones have turned back into normal people. Carlos and Justin are at the fountain, and Carlos asks Justin if he's going to make another wish, but Justin says no, because they never come true, throwing a coin away from himself. Carlos gets the coin, telling him to never toss his wish away, and that he should just never give up. He then turns Justin around to see his dad, who's walking toward him. Justin's dad is very excited and happy hugging Justin. He says that he got a new job, one in Angel Grove. He's here to stay. Justin is excited that his wish came true. The end. I totally get the theory of how Justin's dad is a Phantom Ranger now. I never really understood that theory before, but like, yeah, he definitely just appears after the Phantom Ranger pieces out. So this two-parter overall is super strong. It's probably the best showing for Justin yet. When you're doing a focus story on a child Power Ranger, I can only imagine how hard it is to write it without it completely sucking. So kudos. Wild Weeder was fine, and the Diva Drones were definitely like a cool, unique idea that was just pulled from like one single thing from the Japanese footage about how Wild Weeder just had a giant robotic bee. I think that's a really inspired way to use the footage though, personally. Overall, a couple of solid episodes. So what will the next episode be like? Find out next time, but until then, may the power protect you.